Well, one thing I like about Flex, I got one of these at home, uh, is the Flex Maestro. So I can work off my radio in the shack. This is a portable head unit, basically. Yeah. So I just take this out to my back deck, plug a microphone in, it connects up to my wireless LAN, and I'm working rate uh, contacts just like I would from my shack, but sitting on my back patio, listening, chasing DX, whatever I want to do. So this is a really nice accessory that they've got that goes along with the Flex Radio system. This is Ham Radio. All right, everybody, I'm Jim from Ham Radio Prep. I'm here with Ed Gonzalez from Flex Radio. Flex has probably the biggest announcement here at uh, the Dayton Ham Vention this year. They've got new radio gear coming out. Ed, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Sure, so we have uh, four new radio models. So we have the 8400, the 8400M, the 8600, and the 8600M. You'll recognize those from our previous lines. It's a complete hardware refresh, getting us ready for the uh, next five, 10 years of innovation. That's great. Now, for those of people who aren't familiar with Flex, the base radios don't come with a faceplate. They're all just connected up to your computer. Correct. The M versions are the ones that have the knobs and the dials and those. Correct, 100%. So if somebody was an existing Flex user, what would be the benefit in an upgrade? Sure. So I think the be biggest benefit is being prepared for future software releases. You know, when we released the original 6000 series, it was about 10 years ago. We we're at the cutting edge with the hardware at the time. You know, we've added uh, features and releases over 10 years to that platform. And this is the start of a new platform for that type of growth and features for the future. So uh, the 6000s are still an amazing radio, but this is the radio that's going to kind of take us for the next 5, 10 years. Now, what bands would this radio cover? Is it strictly HF? So it's HF all the way to six meters. What's one thing that we probably want to know about it if we're, let's say we're maybe we're thinking about our first HF radio, why would we want to choose a flex? So I think there's kind of two pieces to that. One, uh, it's kind of a modern radio, right? We were the first to do uh, direct sampling against DRs. It's very visual. Like if you're coming, you know, into the ham radio community, uh, it's really kind of a, a neat way to see the signals, visualize that, and learn about not just through hearing, but also visually. And then we also have very uh, intuitive interfaces, whether you're coming from a traditional radio background with knobs, we offer that, or if you want to go all new age with a computer. So you mentioned uh, a 160 to HF or to uh, six meters is your the native band of this, but I've seen that these flex radios have uh, a very good record for being able to use transverters and, and add things onto them as well. They're expandable. Absolutely. So, you know, it's flex radio and we are very flexible with our platforms. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, why we chose that name. And yes, these radios can maintain all those compatibilities from the floor. So you can have transverters, you can actually uh, add transverters in the GUI and it looks like you're on that frequency, right? You don't have to convert in your head the frequency range or anything. It looks like it's native lore. And what's really nice is uh, on these flex radios, I've experienced that you've got two, you can look at uh, two parts of the band or four parts of the band at the same time, depending on the radio. So if you want to chase the X or just chase propagation, you can just pop it up and Absolutely. see it all at one time and know where you want to go. So it's nice, quick, uh, a fun way to use it. Absolutely. All right. You have a lot of spatial awareness of the bands. So these are actually the new ones. So uh, this is an 8400M. You can see the, the M panel in the front. You can see the HD screen that you know, we're all used to now. Uh, very familiar if you've had a Flex before. Um, you know, same configuration of VFO A focus on the left, VFO B focus on the right. Uh, of course, all the upgrades are inside. You can see some of the changes in the back panel. Uh, of course, the integrated GPS uh, receiver with an antenna here. Um, but yeah, it, it, so I was reading about the GPS integration. So, so this can run as its own time server, which means you can sync up better with FT8, right? Correct. So uh, the radio itself maintains accuracy with the GPS, and we're going to roll in an NTP server okay. so that anything in your shack can get uh, time through the network from your radio from the GPS. And the GPS sync on all the 8400 model, 8000 series model? Right. So, great. Okay, because that was an option with the with the older model. Right, so there's two differences. There's still a GPS DO that you can add. Okay. But from a base model, they all have the GNSS module that provides the timing and GPS reception across all the models. Terrific. And what I like about these is there's a lot of ports on the back. So if you take a look at the back of the radio, James, um, you can see that there's 
a lot of options for connecting up other things as you go along. Uh, does it have uh, like an HDMI out or a monitor out at this point? Uh, so the M models will have HDMI. What you're looking at there is an 8600. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the M models will have HDMI out for a screen. Okay, great. So you can put it all up on a big screen as well right out of the radio. Yep. Anything else we should know? Uh, we're taking deposits. Uh, so we're taking 500 deposits. We're shipping in August. Okay. And uh, the deposit's fully refundable. Uh, you can change your mind at any time, but it does guarantee the order in which we ship you a radio. Okay. And what's the price range going to be? Uh, so I don't know these off the top of my head. I believe it's around twenty four ninety nine. Uh, for the non-M models. Okay. And then I think it goes up to 3649 for the M model for the 8400s. Okay. And then the 8600s, I'm going to have to get a price sheet. But I, I think, think I saw that the top one was maybe just under six grand. Correct. That sounds right. All right. Great. Dan, thank you very much. Thank you. What's your call? Uh, KG5FPT. All right. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.